welcome to Womanity Africa on TOS TV Network, where we discuss women-related issues. This episode is centered on promoting women's empowerment through entrepreneurship. I am Fawcett Bellu. According to the World Bank studies, women entrepreneurs make significant contributions to the economy by increasing family, economic, financial, and social status. Entrepreneurship is an important tool that has empowered many young women in Nigeria as they create new jobs not only for themselves, but for others as well. However, most young women face a great number of difficulties and obstacles that limit their abilities to establish, grow and run their businesses. Starting up as an entrepreneur wasn't um, easy, but from the scratch I've always been the type that loved um, doing something on the side. It didn't start off as a business for me, it started off as um, a passion. I started off as a baker actually from 13. So I started, it wasn't easy, but at least I was mingling between that and school. Then after the university and everything, you know the country, you have to have something on the side. So I dabbled into designing fashion in general. And being a plus size, I always wanted a fashion brand that can actually cater to me my kind of style. I love being stylish while being comfortable also. I would say starting up a business, I was like, I always thought that I would be the last person to start a business because I was always terrified of how customers can be and the effort of looking for people to buy your goods and all that. And seeing my siblings doing it, I just felt like, oh, this is a lot of work. But sometime in 2020, I just realized that I just finished service and I was broke. And it was just like there was no jobs and everybody's doing a business. So I remember that day, there was a particular day, a customer came and she was looking for silk scarves. And then I just ran, I was in the market and I was like, okay, you know what, let me just make a quick buck and run around, try to get some, let me see how I can get it for. And then I made a profit of it and that got me thinking like, I can actually do this. And so that was just how I started. I just put up took some pictures of some of the fabrics. Luckily, what I started with was actually quite affordable. So I just bought some, took pictures, and thought about an Instagram name, and that's just how I started. Okay, before I thought of starting a business, I had to sit and evaluate. Then I figured the major things of every single business is startup capital. You might have the idea, but there's no capital to execute it. So the first was, the capital. Well, the second was the right channel of people. Then lastly was the audience. When I was in secondary school, the only thing I thought of, ah, I want to be a doctor. But the situation of the economy, I discovered that it is good to have handwork. And I would like to have my own at the end of the day. Because it's not every, it's not from, it's, I will not work under somebody for the rest of my life. The main challenge that I have starting on my business is money and environment and all those stuff because even if you have the money you would actually need a very good environment to boost up your business. As a young entrepreneur and a woman some of the challenges I've faced mostly have to deal with financing. Um, when you want to when you want to take your business to the next level it can be pretty demanding capital wise like you need a lot of money to for me now as I'm in the fabric business having to buy goods takes a lot it's a lot of monetary commitment and having you know, like you know you have to accept that customers aren't so easy to come by. I know that I have the advantage of being in the market and having people that I can lean on, my siblings, my mom, that are also in the business, that are into business already. So they have this established um, customer base that I have profited off. But it's still pretty hard having to look for customers and mostly financing to buy goods because sometimes people come asking, like, do you have this, do you have that? And you don't really have it. And so it's an issue that... It's pretty difficult as a woman. It's just like you have so many responsibilities and so many things to think about. The thing that is keeping me from starting my own is how to get my machines. Machines are very expensive now. Initially, when I started learning, it was cheaper. But now, because of the uh, the, the 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 what is it called? The high rate of the currency now. The machines are very expensive. Something that was bought at 40, 50,000 is over 100,000 now. How much are you making from, the, from what you are doing? How can you save and you still have expenses? And then where to even work? Like the location of your shop. Shops are very expensive in Abuja. You even have a shop and 
uh, if you are not on time, you come and seize your machine. So those are the few challenges there. Raising capital for my business wasn't actually difficult. The way people think you have to have a capital for your business is actually wrong. There are so many businesses you can start without having a capital at hand. So I started by being attached to somebody. So if I get a business on my own, I just bring it to that person. Then the person sponsors the business and I get little tips from it. So that little tips was what made me start my own fully. Then also I got a loan from someone, a very close relative who believed in me. So I got that loan and I used it and after like months, a month or weeks, I replaced the money back and started on my own fully. The first advice I'll give is, number one, don't give up on that dream. I won't say dream, but don't give up on that business achievement. Then the number two is write your goals. Always have a goal, set a goal. Always write your goals down. Because if you don't write your goal, you're definitely not going to achieve it. Then the last one, save. Save, don't be carried away by excessive material things. Now that we've had the challenges of some women, here in the studio is Ms. Priska Manasse, an entrepreneur with whom we share more knowledge on the topic of discussion. You're welcome to the studio, Ms. Priska. Thank you for having me. Um, so what is your understanding of the term women entrepreneur? Um, so I think women entrepreneurs are yeah, just people who are trying to make the best of themselves and the economy and doing their best to make sure that there's food on their table and in very few cases mm -hmm. there's enough for everyone. There's enough for people in their houses and there's enough for people that they employ and then there's like a little excess for another. Yeah. So um, how has entrepreneurship contributed to the empowerment of young women in Nigeria? Okay so we all know that um, the unemployment rate and underemployment rate in Nigeria is like on an all-time high. Yeah. But I, I hear jokes on social media about, oh, everybody in my class now is now, like I send a message on WhatsApp and everybody is now, mm -hmm. oh, thank you for contacting <laughs> this and this. It's because the economy has pushed so many people to being, to being self-sufficient, creating employment for themselves. Mm -hmm. So for women, and women, women have always been people who wouldn't just sit back and then let hunger kill them yeah. or let the situation dictate what they would be. They would always find something to do. So women always would find their way, like they would go above water. All right. Yeah. So I'm going out there and you know asking a few um, women on the streets. Mm. They, they made mention of capital Okay. as their biggest challenge when uh, starting up a business. Yes. So how do you think um, young women can, you know, uh, raise capital to start up a business? Okay, so for, for me, I personally started my business by selling off my car. I remember I was my service year and I really needed to start a business. Like with most people, you just feel, oh, this is it. Like mm. I have the knowledge and I want to. So if you have personal... Um, you have personal wealth or anything that could you could sell an asset of to start a business. Mm -hmm. You can do that and you th that's an, an option. You can also contact family and friends and ask for their support with starting a business and then you can ask for loans. Sorry, sorry loan is definitely not it. You can go and why, then ask for why, grants. Why do you think loans? Oh no, it? starting a business is a risky. This is, I'm on my like I don't know, maybe sixth business. Okay. So starting a business is a very risky venture and very few businesses make it past the 50 year or even 20 profit. Mm. Sometimes you invest money and then at the end of the day, you don't have money back. You don't even have your capital back and you're packing up. So imagine if you have a loan and you have the loan and the bank coming at you, trying to get you to pay back mm. your loan and then you have a business that's struggling because finances for young businesses are so I wouldn't advise anyone to take on a loan to start a business. Mm -hmm. You can take a loan to expand the business, but not to start to a start business. Yes. So you should ask for grants. There are a lot of grant um, opportunities there, but grants are very time consuming. But grants are your Can you um, share more light on 
the grants available out there? Oh, yes. There's the Tony Lumelu Foundation grant. Okay. Yes. And then recently, MTN had this um, MTN Blow My Hustle Challenge, where people... And then they are, uh, so, uh, the Tony Lumelu grant for, for, like, it covers almost every sphere of business. If you're okay. doing technology, you're doing agriculture, you're doing um, anything, mm. fashion, you're going to get, like, if you apply, it's usually open from January 1st to March 31st every mm. year, and people apply, and then they get up to $5,000 in grant money mm. to just do what they have to do with, do with their business. But I would advise generally mm -hmm. that you don't just go on and start a business. Okay. okay, so you can look at it, and uh, that's my advice. A lot of people have started, uh, they've just been done with school and decided I want to start a business, mm. and it worked out for them. Yes. Like Mark Zuckerberg started his business, and then here we are, how many years later, and mm. everybody knows who he is and what his business is. But I would advise that whatever field you want to specialize on mm -hmm. for instance if you want to do communications if you want to do a media business like this that you go and do save your time learn from somebody else somebody who is established in the business, the business learn yeah. the business aspect of it learn the mathematics of it learn customer service if you're doing a customer based business go and learn it from somebody just be humble it's it might seem like oh when do i get to because it's not paying so much or when do i get to be the boss or to work for myself. Working for yourself is not as glamorous as it is because you're working for everybody. So learn it, learn. So you, you learn from someone else's mm -hmm. mistake, you learn from their victory and then you can expand from there and then you do better from there. All right, so yes. um, do you generally think that women have it easy in the business industry? Definitely not. So women make up a percentage of business that is micro business to Small, small to meet like to micro small entrepreneurship yeah. is always the or come and buy the shoes that i'm selling come and buy this yeah. women are not represented in the businesses that are the big money businesses in construction so why do you think that it's like that i i think there's social conditioning to to it okay. because um there's the social condition and then people sometimes don't take women seriously. Mm. I've had people who say, oh, I can't, I don't, I am in fashion business and I have tailors. And I've had people who say, I don't want women tailors. So, mm. and I, you're asking why. Sometimes there are women too and they're like, I don't want women tailors. And you're like, why don't you want women tailors? And they're like, ah, women have problems. And then you have even the, the people who are working for others mm. saying, I don't want a woman boss. So, <laughs> all right. So, yeah. um, to wrap this up, yeah. just a quick advice mm. to any young woman out there yeah. that is willing um, to start up a business, business. Just any advice you can give. Yes. I would say it again. Please go and learn from someone else's mistake. Learn from their expertise. Mm -hmm. People who have been doing it for a long, lot longer than you definitely know better than you. If you're starting out, if you're young, you can only see the loophole. loophole. Sometimes you'd see people saying that, oh, I'll do my business. And then when they tell you a mistake you have made mm -hmm. and you're telling them, oh, don't do it this way. And they're like, I have done that before. <laughs> so it's like when, when somebody's telling you, I'm like, hey, that, but that's you. When somebody says, start small, that's a good advice yeah. to start small, no matter how much money you have. Yeah. If you have 10 million naira to invest, don't invest your whole 10 million. Don't put all your eggs <laughs> in one basket. No matter how much money you have, don't think, oh, but if I invest 10 million, I get 100 okay. million naira profit. Mm -hmm. It's never, I don't know, it's like a get rich quick scheme if you think you're going to invest 10 million and get 10. <laughs> Uh, 100 million mm -hmm. at the end of the day. So start small and be very patient. If you're an entrepreneur or an aspiring entrepreneur, you have to be very patient and you have to be very consistent. Thank yes. you very much for joining Thank us. Thank you on the for show. having me. And this is how we wrap it here. Please mm. don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms at TOS TV Network on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Our website is www.tostvnetwork.com. Till we come your way again next week, I am Falsad Bellu.